Hey everyone, John here back on Ark Survival Evolved. So patch 238 just launched. Um, in the patch includes the Woolly Rhinoceros, the Dunkleosteus, forgive me if I pronounce that wrong, and the Riftereed. The only two tameable dinos in the patch are the Rhinoceros here and the Dunkleosteus. The Riftereed is not tameable, but gives uh, resources that I'll go over later on. So the preferred kibble for the Rhinoceros is the terror bird kibble. They prefer the terror bird kibble. Next after that is the, it is the crops and then the major berries. So you're definitely want to, going to want to try to get some uh, terror bird kibble for these guys because they take quite a bit to tame up just like all the other herbivores and their turpore drops fairly fast. Uh, so that it's definitely manageable but you will have to look out for that as well. So the saddle for the rhinoceros I believe it's level 55. It's located not too far down the list here, uh, right beside the Parasaur Saddle and the Industrial Grill. And it can be made in the smithy, and it requires 250 hide, 130 fiber, 100 cementing paste, and 60 metal ingots. The, there is a new mechanic on the Woolly Rhinoceros. Uh, it is a charging mechanic, and as you can see, there is a red bar, uh, somewhat like the Giganotosaurus, uh, beside the health bar there. And um, the longer that you hold Sprint, uh, Shift button, the longer that bar builds up. And when it's fully charged, uh, you can do a pretty strong attack. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that here on this uh, Raptor. Alright, that was only a level 6 raptor, but we were able to take it out uh, with one hit. So that's actually pretty cool. And this guy doesn't have a very strong normal attack, but when you use that charge attack, it's pretty powerful. Uh, something to take note of that I've, uh, from just using it a little bit, um, if you hit a large dino that has a hitbox, like so let's say a T-Rex or a Brano, it'll stop you from charging and it will take away from that bar. So let, let's say I, if I hit this rock. As you can see, the bar went down as soon as he stopped charging, um, even though he still had stamina left. So take note of that. If you're trying to hit something large, you may want to do it in groups to try to take stuff out. Um, now, the stamina does drop pretty quick while using the charge, but it also recovers fairly quick as well. And as you can see, he's not very fast, and he does not turn very well either. So if you get attacked from behind, it's going to be... It may be trouble for you. <laughs> um, since I have the Quetzal here, you cannot pick these up with the Quetzals. Uh, so that is something to take note of as well. You're going to have to tame these in the winter biome uh, where you can find them at, which is the same place that you find the woolly mammoths. So uh, they're located in the winter biome, and uh, you cannot pick them up with the Quetzal. I don't know why that is. You can pick up the woolly mammoths, but you can't pick up the rhinoceros. So... Um, Definitely going to have to work around that. Alright, next we'll go over the Dunkley Osseus. So, the preferred kibble for these guys are Titan Boa eggs. And they are carnivores, so the next thing that they prefer is the prime meat and then raw meat after that. As you can see, they're not very fast in water. Um, so, they're pretty slow. And something that I would el like to note with this guy... I was shooting them, oh there's a piranha. So I was shooting this guy with the uh, with my apprentice long neck rifle here. And um, I was shooting it in the head and it wasn't taking, it, I, I shot it about 20 times and it didn't seem to take any topor effect. And then when I started shooting it in the body I shot it about 20 more times and it finally knocked it out. So, what I'm thinking is, the Topor uh, is not very effective whenever you shoot them in the head because they have this armor-like shell on their head. So, I would definitely try to go for body shots on this guy. Um, now, the Topor was fairly high. It was at 3,600 before I tamed it. So, that is something to take note of. The, the weight is pretty high on these guys. Definitely good for uh, gathering materials. That's probably the only thing they're really good for. Uh, they're fairly slow as you can see so it's gonna be a task to gather stuff with them. I'm gonna go down here and find some oil and see about gathering some stuff and show you guys that. Okay here we are at some oil so let's go ahead and see about gathering this and see what happens. 
Okay, so that was fairly easy to gather. Gathered oil very well. 66 out of one node, so that was pretty good. Let's go ahead and up the salmon on this guy. Seems like that's what we're missing. Now, the other new dino that uh, was added into this patch was the Eryptor Reed, which is right here. Now, these things add quite a bit of topor. Uh, you're definitely going to have to look out for these. Um, they hit you pretty hard and hit you hard with topor. So, uh, they have... <laughs> they're pretty dangerous little guys, actually. There we go. I just killed one. Something interesting about these, as well as the rhinos, is whenever you harvest... They give a new material called Black Pearls. It's a rare resource. And the rhinos give rhino horns. And uh, they're used in a new recipe called Broth of Enlightenment. And um, I'll show that off right now. Okay, so this broth requires that you have 10 mejos, 2 of each of the crops, 1 black pearl, and 5 rhino horns uh, to make it. And obviously water skin with water in it and uh, to light the uh, cooking pot here. And um, the brief explanation on the broth is a single sip of this incredible broth will expand your mind and broaden your horizons, granting greatly increased experience gain for a brief time. Uh, now, I have no way of testing this on here on my single player as I'm a maxed out character. But if you have any insight onto how much experience this actually gives you overall, um, what kind of gains you get off of this, please let me know in the comments as I would love to know. I'm sure everybody else would like to know as well. Um, you can see that the, the broth right now is active down there at the bottom left of my uh, screen. So to go over a brief overview of everything that's went on, the woolly rhino can be found in the winter biome area from what I've found so far. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Uh, the preferred kibble on these guys is terrorbird kibble, and after that, crops, and then medjo berries. The dunkley osseus can be found, and like I said, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. These can be found, obviously, in the depths of the ocean. Uh, the preferred kibble for these are titan boa eggs, and then prime meat and raw meat. The uh, eurypterid can be found in the oceans as well. Now, watch out for the topor effect. They're pretty deadly. Um, I had one hit me once, and it knocked me out straight away with one hit. Uh, so it, that's pretty crazy. Um, and they can be harvested for black pearls as well as the rhinos can be killed for their rhino horns, uh, which are used in this brand new recipe here called the Broth of Enlightenment. So that's going to be it for this episode, this overview of the new patch that just came out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I gave you some useful information. If I did, let me know in the comments. Leave me a like, if you will. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. As always, I thank you for watching.